everybody, I'm Allie and welcome to Strategically Helpful. So in today's video, I am sharing with you how I organize all of the necessary equipment and supplies and everything I use when I choose to participate in the legal activity of consuming marijuana in Las Vegas by means of a dry herb vaporized system. So I'm very nervous to be sharing this information because I am a Gen Xer and I grew up in the 80s and the 90s and I remember Nancy Reagan telling me to just say no. And you know, things have changed a few days ago in Las Vegas, the first ever consumption lounge opened. So in the same vein that you can walk into a restaurant or a bar and order alcohol, you can walk into this consumption lounge in Las Vegas and order a THC infused cocktail or all different manner of consuming marijuana. And yet decades of being, you know, told that drugs are bad is giving me a little anxiety, but we're gonna plow through. So high level, I choose to participate in smoking weed via a dry herb vape system. And so basically what that means is um, I purchase flour or bud or whatever you want to call it and I grind it up kind of similar to the way you would grind it up if you put it in a joint and then the difference is is I do not burn my flour so I put it into a heating chamber this little chamber right there it gets up very hot about 427 degrees I think and then I put the flour that ground up flour goes right in that little kind of chamber and I pop this in right here and this thing gets hot and the oils and the THC and the cannabinoid oils and everything that's in the, the flour, I'm able to in inhale the vapor. And when all is said and done, the flour is done and I'll have like kind of a light brown, honey colored flour bud. And that is called like ABV or AVB, depending on whoever you talk to. It's either already been vaped or already vaped bud. So that's the first half. But then uh, I used to have a much longer straw and you could just smoke it straight, but the vape comes out really hot and it's kind of unpleasant in your throat. It's nothing like smoking smoke, but uh, it's definitely hot and it's unpleasant. So I found out that there you can get a dry herb vape water bong. So this is by a company called Tabletop Bong and I will link their channel and their website in the description below. But basically what I'm able to do is I take this little guy, I pop it right up here, I fill this with water and then I have this whip and I'm able to pop that in here and draw from this whip just like you would draw from a hookah. So this is my chosen modality based on the research that I have done I feel the most comfortable with this modality, both for the experience and also for the safety concerns and the health concerns. I am not a doctor. For me, I choose this way because I feel like it is the safer of all of the choices that I'm comfortable with. So in a nutshell, dry herb vapor is my chosen modality to consume marijuana. But as you just saw, there are a lot of pieces and parts and supplies that are necessary in order for me to choose that route. And so because of that, I wanted a way to be able to bring all of the necessary supplies out of the closet, put it on my coffee table, participate in the activity. My husband, this is not his jam. It doesn't really suit him. So it's just me participating. And I wanted to be able to participate. And when I was done, I wanted to be able to put it back in the closet and put it away and kind of just have it like turnkey plug and play. And so this tray has become that solution to that problem. It's, it's nice and durable and so I feel really comfortable in putting everything on. I'm gonna have a lot of glass in there. So everything fits in this little tray. It just is really functional for me. And so I wanted to share this as a creative organizing solution because I'll be 45 in about a month and change and I wanted the organizing solution to match our lifestyle and where we are and we are not in the animal house era of our lives. And so I wanted a solution that just felt a little bit more elevated than like baggies. So basically, it's really functional for me. I'm, I'm quite happy with the solution and the people that I've shown it to are always quite enthralled. So I wanted to put this information out there for others who might also be facing the same challenges and desires of kind of having the ability to participate in a 
organized and visually appealing way. And so this is my solution. So there you have it. That is my creative organizing solution in honor of Leap Day. I hope that you found value in this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up because it helps my content get circulated to other people. Oh, my light just went off. It helps my content get circulated to other people who might find it valuable. I have more overly organized content in the works, so definitely check out the playlist at the end of this video in the end card because you will get to see all of the content that I've already published and there's more coming. And if this is a solution that you think will work for you, definitely let me know in the comments below. It would make me feel really good to know that someone found value in sharing this because it is really nerve wracking to share it. And again, I'm just a Gen Xer who's a rule follower and so this is really kind of scary to share this even though it's not illegal. Anyway, all right, I've rambled on enough. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that I see you in my next video and until then, have a good one.